Halloween, or should we say Halloween, is going to the dogs. We had to say it. Last year, people spent half a billion dollars nationwide on pet costumes, and this year, pet lovers are getting into the spirit already. Half a billion, holy smokes. Joining us live with the best pet costume trends is Kevin Botero from Pet Costume Center. It's so good to see you again, Kevin. How are you? Hi, great to see you. How are you? I'm great. I love your pooches with you. Before we get into the costumes, <laughs> what are the biggest trends we're seeing this year with pet costumes? Yeah, so it's really important to note um, with the whole, you know, cancel Halloween culture that's going on right now, that's really not the case with pets. You know, adults might not be, be buying the same amount of costumes as they have uh, past years, but pets are essentially children. And just like you won't tell your child, hey, you're not going to wear your favorite superhero character um, for Halloween, even though trick-or-treating might not be a thing, pets are the same. You know, they want to be part of the fun. And we've been seeing a uh, huge growth in three major categories. Uh, <laughs> One, I would say pets and humans are going together more than ever. So we're talking about human Darth Vader and a pet Yoda. We're talking about uh, human Batman with a, a pet, pet Robin. Robin. I love it. Yeah, a absolutely. Super high growth. And then also we're seeing cats wearing costumes more than ever too, along with our larger furry friends here. So um, cute. So Kevin, tell us, who you, tell us who your first model is. I, this is a baby Yoda. Yes? Yeah, tell us so we have baby Yoda here. Um, super popular from Disney Plus's uh, The Mandalorian, which was a huge hit this year. And then on this side here, we have a big fluffy teddy bear. Um, so this is cute. our walking style with the little arms here. Oh my gosh. Um, so this is Ors here. And yeah, those are the, the part of the two uh, top selling costumes, but there are other ones as well, like cats and dogs. Well, tell us about um, yeah, what tell us tell us what's popular with cats because some cats, you know, they just get a bad rap, but they they can join in on the fun yeah. too. Yeah, absolutely. That's the thing. Most people think cats just don't like to wear anything at all, and sometimes that that might <laughs> someone doesn't like a cat. <laughs> might be, apparently, he wants some screen time. Yeah, he wants a little more screen time. <laughs> um, but yeah, cats, you know, sometimes get a bad rap, like you said, but we're seeing them wearing costumes more than ever. We have a Here Princess see, Leia uh, costume Princess right now. Princess Leia from Star Wars. Star Wars is a super hot category, along with Chewbacca, um, Darth Vader, oh. uh, Stormtrooper, all types. Um, and then $14 we also with have three our, cents. Don't forget the three cents. Yep. Yep. I, at PetCostumeCenter.com. And what about... Um, I, I love the movie theme, by the way. This, this, these, these cats are unbelievable. But you also have a business suit. I mean, who knew that cats were going to get ready for their Zoom calls? Yeah, so another bestseller is uh, the business suit for cats. You know, this cat is ready for his LinkedIn photo close-up right now. Um, yeah, it's super popular. And aside from that, you know, there's other, other like, generic styles that cats are really into. Sometimes they go with more simple ones, like a, a cape, a Superman cape. Yeah. Uh, or, or things like that, yeah. But Kevin, how do you pick the right size costume for your pets? I mean, I know my sister has a, a dog who's, I can't remember the breed, but she hates getting dressed up. So how do you know they're gonna wear it and how do you pick the right size? Yeah, so, so that's the tricky part. First and foremost, the most important thing is uh, the comfort of your pet and making sure uh, they're comfortable and for their safety, of course. So that really comes down to choosing the right size. Um, it's really important that you don't have a costume that's too loose because then they might trip over the sleeves if, the, if they're a bit too long. Um, also, make sure it's not too tight because then it's restricting their full range of motion and it's going to be uncomfortable for them. Um, so sizing is super important and we have a whole bunch of uh, really cool sizing features from a printable measuring tape to an AI powered uh, pet size generator with just a few oh. key measurements. It'll shoot you out the perfect size for your pet. And then aside from choosing the right size, um, we have a whole bunch of, uh, you know, posts online on some tips and tricks like uh, positive reinforcement to make sure that they keep the costume on. But it's really important to note that um, it is a temporary uh, wear piece. So yeah. you want to make sure that you're not keeping it. It's not a day in, day out sort of thing. It's just a thing to take a picture with and make sure that they're comfortable with it as well. Kevin, who's, what is Baby Yoda's true identity? Because he is just looking at you and us like, who did this to me? <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, so she really enjoys this costume. She loves wearing costumes. I oh probably my gosh. put her in so many different <laughs> kinds. Um, well, let's, she does. Let's. Can we can we skip straight to Buzz Lightyear? I'm sorry because the, I've got very antsy folks over here. 
Twenty-three dollars yeah, ten cents. So Look at this thing, adorable. Twenty-three ten cents. So that's actually our other uh, best seller for big dog sizes, double X and triple X. Um, all the Toy Story gang is super popular. We have. And then what deep, about? And then uh, what about Rex. the the classics? Oh well, Oh my gosh, the UPS wow. driver. <laughs> UPS is an absolute bestseller too, along with the USPS that is new uh, this past year. So, yeah, I mean, who doesn't love a delivery driver? Kind of the irony of the pets always, you know, barking at the door <laughs> sort of thing. Um, and, then and then Eeyore, Eeyore from, from Winnie, Winnie the Pooh. The Pooh. Yep, oh, Winnie my the goodness. Pooh is also a really hot, really hot category this year Kevin as well. Botero, thank you so much. Um, you can find all these costumes at PetCostumeCenter.com. But before we go, we know you um, as the founder of Pinder. And Dan would like to know if you have found a, a potential mate for his Bella. Where we, what do we got, Kevin? Dan, Dan, we gotta go on camera sometime again soon because I have the perfect match for you and Bella. Oh. So we'll, we'll talk For you and soon. Bella or just Bella? Oh, that's a tease it's if a I've ever double. heard one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> double date. Kevin, thank yeah, you. Double, All right. I mean, one we, the owner doesn't you don't wanna like reveal it right now? <laughs> no, he's not gonna reveal it right now. Are they in New oh, York? No, it, Yes, Stay in tuned. New York, of course. Okay. Hey. All right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. By the way, the teddy bear. Quick at the teddy bear dog back. That was <laughs> so <laughs> cute. That's Thanks, Kevin. Oh, oh bye, baby bye, Yoda. Bye. Oh, bye, bye. Oh, that one had enough. On cue.